Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, we are going to be continuing on how to use um, AI within Excel. In the last video, we saw how to use AI to use different functions within Excel, which is how to use the fill function and how to use the extract function of AI using ChatGPT for Excel. So, in this video, let's let me just go ahead and explain this. Um, we will we are going to be using chat GPT for Excel for the following which is the AI dot translate function and the AI dot table function right so the AI chat GPT translate function is going to we're going to be showing you how to use the translation function within an Excel sheet and then the second one we're going to be using how to use a table for to populate certain data by using the AI for ChatGPT for Excel. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So you're going to find this Excel sheet on the in the description in which you can download it and um, you'll be able to run the exact same command that I'm using here just to see and demo how the functions work. So if you click on the tab on the Excel, the translate tab and in here you simply go and let me just Remove this and put here. Let me just remove this. Okay, Spanish. All right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to be using the AI translate function from Excel. Um, by the way, I just want to highlight this. We did this in the previous video. This is the Chat GPT for Excel add-on. If you don't know how to uh, how to add it, um, in the previous video I showed a demo how to add it. You simply go to the add-on tab. Uh, add-ons here and search for the chat GPT for Excel and add it to your Excel okay so let me just go ahead and demonstrate this so very simply you enter the formula here which is AI dot translate hit the tab key and then this is the prompt which or the value of the prompt that I want to be able to send right oops it's okay let's change that so this is the actual prompt which I want to be able to translate so I'm gonna hit here AI dot translate hit the tab and then that's the prompt and then I hit comma and then they give you the value of the language which I want to translate it to so I click on Spanish the language with which I want to be translated to and I close the parentheses and then I hit enter and then it's going to be able to generate the translation from this English prompt to the Spanish prompt right here okay that's the Spanish prompt okay now if I change this to French just make sure the spelling is correct you'll be able to get automatically the translation in French right if I change this to Russian I'm going to get the same automatic translation to Russian and so on so let's say I want to add a drop down here into different languages, right? So I'm going to go into the data validation tab, which is, I think it's right here. Yeah, data validation. Select uh, data validation. And then from here in the allow a drop down, choose a list. I'm going to add a list. And then this, I'm going to click, I'm, I'm going to put in the languages which I want. The translation to do it in Spanish, um, Russian, Japanese, Arabic. Okay, and I'll hit OK. Now I have a drop down here which has all the different languages. So, whatever prompt I enter, I'm going to choose Spanish, it's going to change it to the Spanish prompt automatically, right? If I'm going to choose um, Japanese, it's going to do the translation automatically and give me the Japanese function or the, the Japanese translation. I'll choose Arabic and now it's going to give me the Arabic translation of this text, right? So, what you can do is you can do this from, uh, let's say, multiple inputs and uh, with the multiple um, prompts and then you can just choose whatever you want and then just copy and paste it for your. Uh, for your email or for whatever content you want to use it for, whether you're a content creator, you can do it easily this way. 
and then you can set up all your prompts in different languages and you can just copy paste in for your social media posts or Twitter posts or X posts or whichever platform you choose and then you can enter it there alright that takes care of the translation function now let's take a look at the next tab which is the table function the table function of the AI uh, for ChatGPT for Excel is basically I want to be able to populate certain information using the table function. So what I'm going to do it here is equals AI dot table at the tab, and I'll put the prompt here: state Microsoft net profit for the last three years. I select it. I hit enter. Uh, I close the parentheses, and then I hit enter and automatically it's going to be able to populate the information from the chat GPT function I think they're using chat GPT I think it's 3.5 and it, it gets information and puts it here in Excel the same thing here I want to do it for state Apple's net profit for the last four years so I'll go to AI dot table hit the tab enter the choose the prompt close the parentheses and enter it right here Okay, <clears throat> so this allows me to automatically populate the information based on the prompt which I feed the AI engine or the AI chat GPT and it gives me the results automatically into my Excel sheet and then you can just do it automatically in the public information. This would save you a lot of time if you want to, if you want to copy and paste or go into the net and find out this information, copying and paste it. So directly by simply asking the prompt. For your financial analysis, it just generates everything in one single shot, and then you can continue on with your analysis and with your formulas on the uh, on your Excel. All right. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And um, I'll thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.